Atlas is Sokka and his friends! Let's ask them! Hi, Yoimiya! Are the weapons to scare away the great Mujina yokai ready yet? Oh, uh, Mr. Ryunosuke is making them right now. You can go collect them from my house later. Uh, aren't you gonna play with us, Yoimiya? I'm sorry. I have something important to do right now. I'll be back later on. But I'll bring you guys some candy next time. The extra sweet candy, the one you guys love. Yeah, hey, we're gonna get candy! Woohoo! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah! Uh, candy! Woohoo! Also, I wanted to ask you guys something. Uh, did you see a bunch of scary looking men come by here at all? Yep, we did. It looked like they were chasing someone. Are they trying to catch a monster too? No, don't worry. It's all just a big misunderstanding. Be good kids and stay out of trouble, all right? Stay in the city for now, and I'll come play with you after the fireworks start. We will. We'll be on our best behavior, especially for you, Yoimiya. It looks like this is the right way. Let's keep going. If Sakuchiro still hasn't made up his mind, I guess I'll have to step in. Look! There are people from the Tenryu Commission over there! It must be them! Sorry, official business. I can't let you pass. Sakujiro and Keisuke are up ahead, right? We need to talk to them about something. Didn't you hear me? You're not getting past. Ugh, what a nuisance! <sighs> well, you've only got yourself to blame! <laughs> Time for a light show! I must withdraw. I must withdraw. Dare you impede the work of the Tenryo Commission? You will be punished for your actions! There is nowhere you can escape justice. Not even at the edges of the world! Huh. Look at that! The one with the loudest mouth had the fastest feet. We can't waste any more time on these guys. Let's push on. They should be just ahead. Your skills with the sword have stagnated, Sakujiro. You should have known that you stood no chance against me in a duel. I never imagined I'd fall into your hands. I... <laughs> if this is to be my fate, I accept it. I have nothing else to say. But your return says that you finally came around to my point of view. Whatever you say. You will return with me to the Tenryo Commission to await your sentencing. The one who made this boat will also be punished. Wait! It doesn't have to end like this! 
Don't you have anything else to say to one another? Hey, I know you. You're Naganahara's girl, who makes the fireworks. <laughs> I know you like to get involved in other people's business, but stay out of this. It does not concern you. It's okay, Yoimiya. The past is the past. Then why did you risk life and limb to get yourself back into Inazuma? And why were you so reluctant to leave after you got here? I'll tell you why. This is why. This is the chance you've been waiting for. To talk everything through. I have nothing to say to him. He's a criminal. I work for the Tenryo Commission. There is never any room for discussion. Out of respect for the friendship we once had, I gave him a chance to fight for his freedom. But his skills with the sword are as disappointing now as they ever were. What are you talking about? And just who do you think you're kidding? You left all your subordinates back there to guard the road, making sure no one else followed you here. Seems to me like you were hoping for a chance to talk. I can see it in your faces. You both have so much to say. And you're just gonna choose to keep it all inside? Tuh. Don't flatter yourself. What would you know? You and Mia, leave it. It was just my wishful thinking. No, I won't leave it! I will not stand by and watch when you haven't even done anything! Keisuke, you seem to like settling things with a duel, so let's do it your way. I challenge you to a duel! If I win, then you need to say everything that's in your heart. No more running from your feelings! And the same goes for you, Sakujiro! If I win, you will tell Keisuke exactly why you came back, no matter what the consequences are. You have to tell him everything. If you don't say anything now, you may never have another chance. And if you lose? Then I'll admit to collaborating with Sakujiro and accept the Tenryo Commission's punishment. Yoimiya. I accept. Let's settle this with a duel. Sir, we're here to back you up. Back up? Those are supposed to be one-on-one! -on -one. All right, that's it! Let's help you and Mia! We can't let her fight them all alone! I must withdraw! As a dutiful maid would... Leave it all to me. Uh. <laughs> Fire hazard! Boom, boom. Sir, they are too strong. We stand down. W what? I thought I told you to stay away. Now stand down. Y yes, sir. Sorry. Young lady, you are just as obstinate as Sakujiro was back then. Why were you so convinced that we had things to say to each other? Because... Sakujiro may not have told me about you when he came back, but he did order a firework from me. Then, your parents told me about what happened between you when you were younger. Once I'd heard the story, I realized that the firework meant something special to you both. And that's why I simply refuse to believe that you have nothing to say to each other. Nobody sets off a firework to feel lonely, do they? Hmm. The reason I came back is that... <sighs> I felt lost. It wasn't that I'd changed my mind, I just felt that what I'd done in the past was to try to escape from reality. I saw the freedom of Mondstadt, the contracts of Liyue, the wisdom of Sumeru, and the justice of Fontaine. It all left a deep impression on me. I was glad that I'd left Inazuma, but then I happened to hear about the Sokoku Decree. I was an escapee, and I was proud of that. What I should have tried to do is take the good things from the outside world and bring them back home. So that's why you came back? Out of your naive hope of changing the way things are here? No, I let go of all those delusions of grandeur. I just felt that... I never should have run away like that. 
After all, you never ran away. Huh? I don't know about you, but life hasn't been easy for me. But I just had to come back and visit. It was like fate was calling me and I couldn't ignore it any longer. Life isn't easy for anyone. I truly worship the Raiden Shogun. Her ideas were my personal creed, and I desired nothing more than to see her will done. But now, my role is to punish violators of this Hakoku decree and confiscate people's visions. It's not what I signed up for when I joined the Tenryo Commission. I do wonder, am I really doing the right thing? The boat is yours. Uh huh? I couldn't make you stay in Inazuma, but that doesn't mean I want to keep you here by force. Uh, what will you say to the higher-ups? Don't worry about that. I'll handle it. If you want to come back, I hear the process of returning to Inazuma from the outside world is long and complicated, but it can be done. I will lend you my help, but until then, you'll have to wait. And don't kick the bucket on the way out. Don't worry, Keisuke. I won't. Any chance we can watch the fireworks together? Hmm. Maybe next time. <sighs> I'll be demoted for sure. It's not like me to give in to childish sentiment like this. I can't explain why I went through with it. It's the one that Sakujiro planned on using for his escape. I asked Yoshitaka and the others to transport it here, citing the temporary contraband storage clause. Forcing Sakujiro to this spot was also something I had planned all along. It's just like you said, Yoimiya. Even though I hadn't fully made up my mind, my actions betrayed my intent. But I think you did the right thing. And look, now you've managed to resolve the grievance in your heart by talking about it. I understand now. Thank you. I didn't know you were quite so perceptive. You saw right into what I was thinking. <laughs> That's only because I know your parents so well. They're both really nice people, so I didn't think the apple would fall too far from the tree. I had heard there was a new Naganohara running things these days. A little loud and reckless, maybe, but <laughs> you live up to the family name. By the way... Naganohara fireworks can reproduce the firework that the two of us set off back then, right? Would you be able to make one for me? Sorry, no can do. Without the slipper reference, I can't make the same one again. And I'm afraid Sakajiro is the one with the slip. Ah, uh, I see. Never mind then. <laughs> Don't get too down just yet, though. I mentioned that Sakajiro ordered a firework from me, didn't I? I can't make another one, but I'm guessing Sakajiro probably won't be needing his anymore. It'd be a shame for it to go to waste, so I'll make an exception and let you set it off instead. Thank you very much. No worries, and don't miss out on the start of the fireworks show. Yoimiya! The way you took command of that whole situation was amazing! What can I say? I like to talk. I'm a strong believer in the power of words. If you're not willing to communicate, then the problem just sits there. If you just keep staring at it without doing anything, eventually you'll watch every last opportunity to resolve it slip away before your eyes. Sakujiro and Keisuke can't turn back the clock in their relationship, but that's no reason to live with remorse. Anyway, follow me. I'll bring you to the perfect place to watch the fireworks. My pups will set off the firework that I wanted to give to you.
I could weep. Uh, I didn't actually cry though, right? I just feel a bit misty eyed. Oh, uh, remember that big one that went up first? The gold one? That's the one I had Pops make for you. Oh, Paimon saw it! It was one of the best ones! They won't forget that anytime soon! <laughs> That's what I wanted to hear! I was hoping it would leave a deep impression on you guys. No matter where your journey takes you, and no matter what hardships might lie ahead, I hope you'll always be able to look back fondly on the fireworks you saw tonight. I believe that as time goes by, this firework will only grow brighter and more beautiful in your heart. Oh, and also, you're technically my customers now. Here, this is your paper slip. If you ever want to see that golden firework again, just come and see me. You know, Yoimiya, you seem to turn into a completely different person during the fireworks. You were so quiet, and it was like you couldn't hear anything at all. Oh, I can hear you. I just have a habit of being silent while I'm watching fireworks. Quietly watching something you made with your own hands rise into the sky feels like a sacred ceremony to me. You asked me what fireworks mean to me, right? Yep. Well, for Koichi, who built the boat for us, and his friend, Third Sis, fireworks commemorate friendship. For Keisuke's parents, they commemorate marriage. And for Keisuke and Sakajiro, they were commemorating... Oh, yeah! Right! Beliefs! As for me, uh... <laughs> to be honest, uh, even though I've thought about it countless times before, I still haven't found an answer. Seriously? Huh. Hyman was expecting something deep and philosophical. Well, no one's ever asked me this before, so I've never really settled on an answer. It was by chance that I happened to be born into the Naganohara family, so it was by chance that I ended up learning this craft from my pops. It's also by chance that I've met so many people, learned so many things, and discovered that people associate watching fireworks with the things that are most precious to them. Fireworks that disappear in a flash of light are probably the furthest thing away from the eternity that our shogun desires. But people's feelings don't just disappear. And it's those feelings that give fireworks their purpose. If nobody wanted to watch fireworks, then they wouldn't exist. Also, consider this. You have to have the Naganoharas because so many people are emotionally invested in the existence of fireworks. If we didn't exist, their wishes would go unfulfilled, wouldn't they? You know, I don't really think about complicated things like this very often. But I'm proud that I was born into the Naganohara family and have the chance to make so many pretty fireworks. Inazuma is not such a bad place. Paimon's having a pretty good time. But we should probably go and see about the next operation that Toma and Ayaka were talking about, right? As usual, it's the first stop, Komori Tea House. Are you ready to head over? 